Destur kembali hadir bersama saya Yeni Yusra dan kali ini kita akan mengunjungi kantor Ice House. Seperti apa sih isi dari kantor yang satu ini? Yuk ikuti liputan saya berikut ini. Hi Daily Social, welcome to Ice House. Ice House? Yep. Wow, what is Ice House? Maybe you can explain? Certainly. So Ice House is, uh, is actually the first uh, Google certified mobile app developer uh, in Southeast Asia. Oh, okay. Um, so yes, while we'd like to look at ourselves as a bit of a startup, we've actually been um, servicing over 50 companies um, worldwide uh, wow. for the last four years just here from Indonesia. Okay. Uh, so it's something we're very, very proud of here. And you're here as? I'm here as the country manager uh, for Ice House Na Indonesia. Nathan, right? Yes, Nathan. Okay, so this is a very cool office. Maybe you can explain what is the concept here? What is the theme? Do you have well, I'll theme? elaborate on the word saying it's, it is a cool office to start <laughs> with, which, uh, which goes right? to the heart of, heart of our brand, yeah. yes. Um, so Ice House essentially originates from our process um, that we use to develop apps mm. uh, on behalf of some of the most recognised brands um, in Indonesia and, mm. and more broadly. So um, we have this idea where we, where we can work with any customer and mm. essentially take uh, what starts as a concept and take it to a full-fledged app uh, within 100 days. Oh, wow. um, so to do that, create you know we needed to build on quite a unique process um, that we actually inherited from the Silicon Valley. So we've tried to also bring uh, right. that theme of that startup culture here to Indonesia as well, which has really defined um, our office space here. You have well. two wings, right? Yes. That wing and this wing. Maybe yes. you can explain which area is it, what is the function of this area? Certainly. So we don't um, have designated uh, functions, so we have an open office environment. Right. Um, so we've actually really segmented um, each side of the office based on people's work and preference. Oh, so th these guys here yes. are not like engineer most of the no, so engineer? We have, yeah, we have a mix of engineers, okay. uh, designers, uh, oh, wow. quality assurance, business analysts uh, and project managers. They can sit everywhere they like? They can sit anywhere they like wow. uh, in the office space, but okay. you'll notice uh, this side of the office is a slightly more quiet. Yes. Um, so we consider that side a little bit more of the, the crazy area <laughs> right. where people are free to play music. So oh. we have a, a Spotify playlist which people take turns and can pump music and work in that kind of environment as much as they like. Okay. Um, and for those who like a, a more of a private working space, okay. we've got this side of the office. Okay, so I see that the desk is designed really uniquely, you know, you, you don't have like yeah. a bridge, a wall or something so the people can collaborate. Is exactly. there any reason why you just this kind of, this type of oh, work environment? Yeah, that's exactly right. So we've, um, we've created an, an open uh, office space um, right. by design. So whether you're management or even a junior, we have the exact same desks. Um, we even use the exact same tools. And so your desk is where? My desk is right here. Oh, right here. Um, yeah, so this is my, uh, my stand-up. Uh, little desk, so it gives me a bit of flexibility as well, right. uh, which is great. Okay. Um, and uh, and also introduce you to our chem, uh, Redmo as well. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Okay. <laughs> so um, this is also what a function room or a meeting room? Will yeah. So explain? these are all meeting rooms, and um, oh, what... there's a couch. There. There's a bin back there. Yes. Let's. Do you want to have a look inside? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. So. What is the, the, the room function for? Sure. So um, when we maybe you can sure. Well, let's go inside. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so when we, when we design our apps, one of the first things we do is we take a very customer-centric focus. Oh. Um, and so we use that philosophy for very much the way we design our office. Okay. So we really ask the people what are things that they would want to have in an office in their you know, ideal working environment. Um, and this is one of the ideas that we, we came up with. So it's a, a Japanese-inspired right. uh, kind of flat table where you'll see you've got, you know, cozy. pillows and cozy. And we are supposed to take our shoes off, so. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. but, it is, but it is a place to have a, a bit more of an informal, um, you know, chat and whiteboard session. And How, okay. How many area like this in, in your office? In our office, three? we've got one that's that's designed like this. Mm -hmm. um, we've got our board meeting room uh, next door. And we've got a few other what we call ice houses oh, wow. um, down there, which I'll show you later. But okay. you'll see that every um, every office space also has um, anywhere that you can write. So the windows, the tables, the, the yeah. walls, um, because you know the way that we uh, the way that we work is very much a collaborative process. Yes. 
Uh, and if like me, I'm a very visual person, so I like to draw my ideas yeah. rather than <laughs> talk them out. And yes. you can use the desk for yes. writing also, right? <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. So they are white markers. Yes. I think permanent markers here are banned, okay. <laughs> just but in very case. Very interesting. Yeah. I see in, in the corner over there is a, like a small lounge area, which yeah. probably like a waiting room or a lounge room for the employee. Maybe yeah, like that's exactly right. Room. We can um, yeah. walk on down. Because and also you have like a small plants there. Maybe you want to add more greenery in in this. Yeah. So we've office. actually we only finishing we only finished renovating the office in oh, December. Oh really? Yeah. So um so this is kind of a, I guess you could say a first cut. So we're by no means finished. Okay. Um but I think yeah the response we've got certainly having the greenery when you walk this into the office. It's very Instagrammable by the way. Instagrammable. It's very cool. Yeah. I love it. That, I love it. That, that is now a word. Instagrammable. Yes. <laughs> um, you got it. Instagrammable. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what? What is the concept here? Is it yes. function as lounge room or? It, it functions yeah. as a waiting area. Oh, so, waiting area. Because yeah, you so don't you know, have receptionist, right? Exactly right. Mm. Yeah. So we don't have um, you know a, a full time uh, receptionist. Um, mainly because if we are organising a meeting with someone, we'd like to be that person to greet them, oh. not just kind of a you know generic office assistant. So I okay. think it kind of comes with just being a bit more personable. So whether it's you know, myself or any other leadership team members, we don't necessarily want a, you know, a middleman, so to speak. So I think it makes things a lot easier and they've got a nice place to hang out. And okay. you'll see the, the iced coffees as well. So I'll show you the espresso machine, okay. which is also a bit of a Maybe we go there right now, right? Sounds good, okay. yeah. So this is very interesting. What yes. is this? Is it like a mural or what? Yeah, this is a, a bit of a, a, a kind of mural of the evolution of yes. man. So yes. from, you know, from ape um, all the way through to ah, okay. uh, a fully fledged <laughs> snowmobile rider. Oh, okay. That's what we, uh, and again, it's keeping that, that ice house thing. But so. it's function as a locker for employee, right? Exactly right, yeah. So we don't have um, designated lockers. They're free to use by anyone, okay. but obviously you get a, an individual key. So. You know, some employees, for example, you know, they'll work out in the morning or in the afternoon, so it's a good place to just keep their things. Because as you'll okay. see, um, with an office space, we don't have individual drawers or, or okay, spaces. Okay, talk to like me that. about company culture. Sure. What is your company culture in here? Is it flexible? Is it yep. like serious and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm glad you asked, because uh, one of the first things I did when I joined Ice House was uh, yeah, sit down with everyone and try and get a sense of why is it that they joined Ice House in the first place? You know, yeah. what is it that made this place so attractive? Um, and the thing that came through again and again um, was this idea of flexible working and just making an environment which really makes people want to come to work, even right. though they don't necessarily have to. So we, um, we very much promote um, kind of working from anywhere and any time. Um, so again, we recognise some people have quite a long commute or they might have you know, children as well that they need to pick up. So you have the ability as well to work from home um, or work remotely. But the way we've built the office is that we wanted to also make it a place which people want to come to. Yes. Um, so even though there is an option, you constantly have you know, that kind of community and the idea to, to really kind of bounce ideas off each other face to face and have okay. those kind of ad hoc discussions What about well. the dress code? Is it dress code, as you can see, is, is completely okay. whatever makes you comfortable. <laughs> Right. Um, so again, I mean, we don't necessarily need, um, you know, to like come with a formal, like no, we <laughs> certainly don't have a, no uniforms here. Ice um, house, yeah, uh, we did. Nam take, stuff like that. We actually had, I know we had an ice house baseball jersey, oh, um, that's cool. which I was going to wear, but I think that would have been a bit too much. It's hot. Yes, it is a bit hot. So um, this is interesting. This is country, right? You yes. have a espresso machine there yeah that's it's very um, very luxurious for the employee it is it is and it's uh it's not easy to get <laughs> to start exactly. the work i think our best barista here is um was actually one of our project managers who happened he's a barista well he was educated in in melbourne so i'm guessing like that that's why he's so good at his coffee melbourne as yes. A good coffee, right? Yes, of right. course, of course. So okay. having having a well caffeinated staff is very important. Okay. Yeah. So this is where the employee is having lunch, maybe a breakfast. Yeah. Right. So this is our Do you essentially. The meal? Yeah, our communal table um, with all our food. So cool. you've come at the right time. So okay. Um, we like have a few. Fruit. Sorry. Fruit. <laughs> yeah. So we have uh, each week um, okay. we have what we call Chill Thursdays, mm. um, which is essentially just a time of two hours in the day. Mm. Um, all people just come together and eat. And whether it's Indonesian food or fruit, um, really whatever people need to keep going. Uh, and so you'll find that Thursday afternoons here is very, very popular. I also know once a month, um, we actually use a rooftop space to host a, a monthly barbecue. Um, and we've also used that, that kind of space as well to launch apps. 
Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so we did one with Pacific Place recently where we launched the, uh, the In Mall app. Uh, and we did that on the rooftop with the barbecue and it was really, really great. Okay, so which area is it? Uh, yeah. what, what, what team working here? Yeah, so again, we don't have um, necessarily oh, okay, designated right. spaces. Um, but to give an example of, of some of the staff we have here, we have our project managers, uh, the majority of our engineers, front and back end engineers, mm. um, certainly our designers as well. Um, but again, they're free to work from here, which is kind of the noisy place where we generally play music through the speakers. Yeah. Um, or somewhere a bit more private. I think we've turned the music off intentionally to not kind of ruin the audio. Yes. <laughs> but, um, uh, you also have the yeah. ping pong table. Yeah, let's check out the ping pong table. And um, bike here, is it belong to one of your employees or uh, provided yes. by the office? Yes, it does. <laughs> I believe that that bike actually belongs to Fakri, one of our project managers. Oh, okay. So he's, uh, <laughs> he's one of the few that keep active here and ride to work. Uh, as well, but yes, our, our table tennis has actually been with us for quite a while and it, uh, it does create a bit of a, a competitive environment. Um, but we don't kind of say, you know, there's a designated time to play table tennis. So you'll see people playing in the morning, at lunch, That's afternoon, nice. whenever you like. So we don't say it's a, it's a nine to five. You're not allowed to play right now? So you can play whenever you want. Uh, you can cool. use any part, of the, any part of the space. This is interesting. Um, is this yeah. like a fun booth here? Yeah, that's right. So this is um, essentially just for your, your also, private again, conversations. Also, again, Instagrammable again. <laughs> Very Instagrammable. Let's keep that word. I like it. Um, yeah. What yeah, is so, the function here? For so this Skype is really, calls? And yeah, so you can do your Skype calls and it's it almost looks, you know, a borderline like a recorded studio, a very yes. mini one. <laughs> so it's it's very well insulated, so people can, you know, take private calls private or, call. or practice their karaoke, whatever they want to do. <laughs> and also, you have a nice view over there, right? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really special. And I think, you know, at night as well, it looks yeah. even, even more spectacular. The building lights. Yeah, yeah. And this is, you have Ice One and Ice ice House One, Ice House Two. Yes, yeah, so every room you notice is themed. So we I have. I feel like I'm in a capsule hotel or something. Yeah, so this is, this <laughs> this is, is kind very of. Very cozy. This is more so shaped almost like an igloo, um, if you think oh. about it. So again, keeping it with the cool theme of, of Ice House. So we've got, you've seen the snowmobile room, <laughs> we've got our two igloos here. Um, and every one of them is equipped, obviously, um, you know, with, with webcam facilities, and, and it's actually, I think, it's a Mac-operated environment, so which makes it very easy for staff who, you know, love using Mac to kind of push their content on any TV and use it to play movies or music, um, as well as, of course. Yeah. Do you find it necessary for Ice House or they can work, they can play whatever they like in their desk? What do you think? Exactly right. Yeah, so we don't have a, a designated area right. which is saying this is a cornered off area, yes. the only place you can play. Um, so when we, th when we talk about an open office environment, we kind of integrate the fun part to that as well. Mm. Um, so you'll see, you know, we've got a dartboard there, table tennis that side. A lounge um, waiting a lounge, room. <laughs> a lounge waiting room. Uh, you know, every TV um, in our meeting rooms is actually capable of streaming, you know, mm -hmm. Apple TV content. So mm -hmm. employees have that freedom to kind of, you know, work and play mm -hmm. pretty much anywhere in the office um, mm -hmm. that they choose to. Uh, and so even like that video game component, you know, a lot of our gamers just have their own console set up at their desk. So when we walk past, sometimes we're not sure if they're working or playing. <laughs> um, but, it, but again, it is that trust element. Again, we don't have set hours. So people can, you know, start as early as they want and, and finish as late as they want. I know we've got a few people who only arrive after lunchtime. Yeah. Uh, but then again, they'll stay, you know, much later. And then others who are morning people, um, that also suits them. So that kind of flexibility between work and play, we think is really, really important. Do you find uh, the more flexible you are as a management yep. by treating your employee? Is it risky for them to be like more of a lazy stuff like that? Maybe? Yeah. What I, do you think about that? I, I, I don't think so at all. Um, so I think, you know, the, the process that we go through to hire people um, is not easy. So I think by the end of that, you know, you, you've essentially hired these people um, who are extremely, extremely intelligent and really, really well skilled. So I think by the end of that, if you don't trust them enough that they will do the work, I think you've got some issues that reflect more on yourself than the employees and stuff, you know. So, um, so we have that kind of openness that we don't need to be checking on people or looking over their shoulder to see are they working. I think we measure 
Um, the same thing our customers measure, and that's output. Yeah. Um, so customers aren't really caring at how much time they spend on their desk. Exactly. They're looking at you know how awesome and their result. app is. Exactly. Yeah. They're looking at the end state. They're looking at those outcomes. Um, and oh, so wow. we hold our employees to that same level of trust as well. Thank you, Nathan. No worries. Thank you. Uh, more success for Ice House. <laughs> Thank you very much, Yen. Okay. Thanks for coming by. Itu dia tadi jalan-jalan kita di kantor Ice House. Saya Yen Yusra pamit. Sampai jumpa.